All right, guys, I want to show you some things in this Karan Tepe visualization that I've been working on. I started with the large downed pillars, and then I put those into place. Next, I, I moved on to the smaller piers, and I put those in place. And that's pretty much what's known about the site, for sure. So after I have all these piers in place, I start thinking about connecting the large piers to the small piers. And this is what I get. And the interesting thing about this is that when you connect a pole from the large pier to the small pier, it perfectly aligns if you extend the line out to these circles that you see surrounding the pit. I think this may indicate that in some areas, the structure had a roof that went entirely to the ground. And after you make that connection from the top of the large pier to the bottom of the short pier, it leaves this gap all the way around, which I think was used for this. And the interesting thing about that is that it's extremely level all the way around. Uh, let me tell you about this missing part over here. So this part has been identified by other people as a fireplace or a hearth and look at that the beam from the top to the hearth rests perfectly on this beam that straddles from one side of the hearth to the other and not only that works out all very conveniently it's mirrored on this other side. So you have this other area where this bar straddles that bar and meets up perfectly with the pole that goes from the top to that pier. I find a coincidence like that in a structure reconstruction pretty amazing. But when it fits, it fits. So then one of the things that was bothering me when I looked at it from above was all of these triangles looked about the same, roughly the same. So if you're using, say, a thatched roof and you had the similar size palms, you could use the same item all the way around to create the roof. Um, but you couldn't do it in these areas, so I, I think it would need additional support. So I had this first thought, and then if you do that, it really matches all the triangles all the way around. And then my second thought was you match it over there. But then that left this triangle much bigger than the rest and it didn't bother me all that much but then when you think about this being maybe an entrance right there I think you need that 
and then you end up having triangles on the side that are similar to the, all the other triangles. And this just tickled me because look at that. Do you see it? It's like the universal symbol for a house on the oldest house ever found. Now, I know that's just guessing. You know, it's especially that last one that I put on there. I mean, that's just pure speculation. But man, that that larger triangle bothers me. It, it would be difficult if you had a uniform material that you were trying to cover the roof with. You have all these similar sized triangles that span a very similar width and then you have this one giant triangle in front. But if you put on that structure you have two triangle sides on either side They're the same as everything else. And it just conveniently makes the universal shape for a house. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. That might just be me thinking too much, but maybe not. We'll come back to this pit. Oh, that one's bothering me, but this one, we got to start talking about water. All right. So no, I didn't force that to do that. I stumbled upon this. When I take a flat plane and I go over this surface, look at that. I, you can see the channel it makes. So I need to render out a waterfall, but there was definitely water that poured down into this room specifically from here. And that's just using a flat plane over the 3D scan data of the site. And you can figure that out yourself too. And look at this pool. When you sit right here, look at that. Look at that view. Can you imagine sitting there? watching the sunset over the horizon. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I, I have no idea which way is north right now. I haven't orientated myself, but who knows? It could be, or not who knows. I just haven't figured it out yet. The views would have been amazing sitting in this pool. And I don't see any evidence of any structure around it. I know people have talked about there being a structure over this, but I, I, I don't know why you would other than to keep rain out. You wouldn't, you certainly wouldn't want to block your view. Um, another interesting feature that I saw up here, you can barely make it out, are these grooves here and here. And that indicates that the water was coming down into this pool 
like via channels that were designed by the ha inhabitants. So it was, the water was designed to flow down specifically. Here, and where does it go? It goes up here, wherever this is. And it very much seems like there's something underneath here. You can see larger stones poking out there. They almost form a circle. You kind of get a little bit of a circle here. But there's definitely a, something under here of interest. There's definitely something under here of interest. There's definitely something under here of interest. And all of those are uphill from the rest of the pits that have been identified so far. So I think it's pretty safe to say that this was a water collection pool, but what are you collecting it for? Another pool down here? Well, I'm not sure. So one theory, it was a pool room and that you have water in here, right? And then maybe some connecting pathways or wooden steps that would go through here. You certainly would have a nice waterfall coming down into your little pool room area. But to me, that doesn't make a lot of sense because of the space over here. Uh, if the water level was too high in this area right here, it, it w would end up flooding out into everything. And I really don't think that this space was full of water. So I think you need to have the pool room water below what might seep into this room which would make it very low in this room. Here, like, watch this. This is all one surface plane here. Oh. So, it's pretty much the same elevation in the room as it is in the pool, in this pool room here. We know there had to be water coming down here. We know that there's a hearth over here. Another feature I need to show you is this body of water underneath here, this hole. And this also connects to this pool room. So if there's water in the pool room, this water fills up. If this water gets too high, this water would flow all over the floor. So I don't think this would have been filled up. Now, one of the ideas that ancient architects had was that this was a, a kind of a heating system you take away the water there and let me put the rock roof over the area and let's imagine that there's fires going on in there okay so like is it a heating system that blows hot air in through a tiny hole or through the hearth is it blowing heat through here.
you have this figure that you look at the lips and it, it's almost like he's exhaling like a I might be reading in to that a little bit too much, but but here's the kicker. So if we follow this water and we try to figure out like what is going on here and we follow it down, we hit these piers and underneath we see that there's, let me take away this rock roof for a second. There are taller piers and there are shorter piers. And the taller piers seem to be con like connected to something. And the shorter piers seem to be connected to something. So let's put that rock roof back on. So the large rock roof or the large piers probably hold up the roof but then these small piers let's go on a little trip here think you're a droplet of water what's gonna happen to you you come over you fall over the edge I think there was a channel here and it went all the way here and look at where you end up in this little hole Oh. You know, they they knew how to they they knew how to channel water and direct water. So nothing says that they couldn't have had a series of rocks that were carved as like gutter channels and then stacked from pier to pier to deliver water right to this hole but then okay so what's what's all this about then well maybe in addition to being hot air and heat through it was also delivering hot water so this ended up being not just a central heating system but also your hot water heater as well it's just a thought I'd like to hear what you guys think Um, and I think that's about all I have for you today. So yeah, let me know what you think. I, uh, I, I, I'm really curious about this room. I think this room is the most fascinating at Caran Tepe. And not just because of the cool face. I mean, it's, it's, there's there's something here that has been figured out that is pretty advanced alright guys let me know what you think